Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Count. So today, we're back for another round of Terraria Master Mode. So today's episode will be focused all around the Queen Bee. I really liked yesterday. Yesterday was focused around one boss, the Eater of Worlds, so it only seemed fitting today. And I will say, I'm very excited to fight the Queen Bee, not as a summoner, because the past two times I've fought the Queen Bee, it was as a summoner, and let me tell you, that fight drags when you're a summoner. So, I'm pretty excited to uh, to do it as a different class, and I think it will be the Vilethorn. The Vilethorn is, is really good. I'm definitely on the Vilethorn hype, and I'm hoping that maybe we can see a bit of a resurgence with Vilethorn. Maybe we can all get in on that hype train. Alright, talking about hype train, I decided to uh, to record today's episode really late in England, like it's past 10 o'clock now, just so I could give my reactions to the PlayStation 5 event. Yesterday, do we all remember yesterday, my, my stance on it? So I said, I'm really excited for the PlayStation 5 event because, you know, it's interesting as a gamer, I like to see what's going on in the landscape. But then I said, I don't buy consoles on day one and I'm not really that interested. You, you ready for the biggest 180? I'm now like the PlayStation 5's biggest fan and uh, and I really want to own one. Mental, right? So do you know what PlayStation 5 did to, to sell me? For one, just for clarification, Xbox One versus PlayStation 5. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not somebody that's interested. I think once you are um, somebody that plays on PC predominantly, you kind of lose that. But I know when I was 13... The Xbox versus PlayStation 3 debate, that was massive in my IT class. So I get it. I do get it. I understand it. But um, do you know what it did? It announced games that I really like. That's how it got me. Sequel to Spider-Man. Do you lot remember me talking about Spider-Man? I love that game. That game is, is amazing. So a sequel to that, must buy. Already pretty sold. A sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, one of the best games of all time, I'm sold. A sequel to, uh, to a Ratchet & Clank game, my favourite franchise of all time on a console. What is this? One event, all of these great games, and a machine that looks ugly? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sold. Hey, welcome back to Terraria. Hope, you, uh, hope you're doing well, staying safe, and washing those hands. So we all know by now that, you know, washing your hands is, is way more effective than using a uh, hand gel. But I will say, in England, getting hand gel, not too bad anymore. I'm also finding flour, and I'm finding, I'm finding eggs and sugar. So just to give you an update, for the rest of the world, you know, because we, we spoke about this a lot at the start. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting alright in England. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm enjoying the fact that a lot of stuff is becoming available once again. Where would I be without my flour, eggs, and sugar? And hand gel? What would I have left to drink? Am I right, boys? <laughs> Am I right, gang? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a, uh, a nice large arena. So usually what I would do is I would kind of build it out of the side of this. So I would, I would usually build it into this space, I would say. But... Considering I'm feeling pretty confident in the Valforn, you know, we're bringing back that hype. I feel like if I was just to open this area up a little bit, if I was to just, you know, go down there, destroy the, the abomination, whatever it's called, the lava, I think I'd be alright. I think I'd be fine. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling very confident today. I don't know what it is. It might just be the, uh, the gamer excitement of the PlayStation 5 event. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting to do a 180. Let me tell you, I really, on my list of things I thought would happen in this year, me being excited about a console was definitely not one of them. But yeah, it's, it's pretty ugly. Do you, <laughs> does anybody else think it looks ugly? Am I the only one? I don't really care how it looks. I put out a tweet, and this was, I was serious, man. I said that it could be a trash can on wheels, and I would still want to get it because I like the game so much. Very true. Very true. But yeah, it's it's ugly. <laughs> but when I think about it, it's got these it's got these big flaps on the side, right? How else do you describe them? Big flaps on the side. 
And I think that's probably going to help with uh, with ventilation. Because right now, I do have a PlayStation 4, but I'm not allowed to play it. Courtney doesn't let me. Because whenever I want to play it, I want to play it in my bedroom. Right? Where I'm close to a television, I don't ever play it downstairs. But I can't. Because it sounds like an actual jet. I'm serious. She's banned it. It sounds that bad. Sometimes she's like, can I hoover? Is that alright? Because, um, because the noise of it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we died. So yeah, sometimes when, uh, when she's doing the cleaning, she's like, am I right to, to do the hoover? Because it's an annoying noise. You prep a person for, uh, for a thing like that. You know, it's, it's like, am I right to, to violate your ear space for a little while? And of course the answer's yes. Because, um, because who doesn't want a clean floor, you know? Um, but it's kind of like that with the PlayStation. Without the clean floor. It's very loud, is what I'm saying. Okay, so... Let me grab this, this, this. Uh, I want these. And I want these. What did I grab the blink root yesterday? Oh, it was for the endurance fish. Nice. So I've got a real question. I I'm very curious. Please just answer this as honestly as possible. Don't hype me up, okay? Just tell me the truth. How are the longer episodes? Are they alright? Are they okay? Do I need to edit out more? Because I don't know what happened, but I couldn't, for the life of me, record an episode that was longer than 20 minutes. I just didn't have it in me. But now I'm finding it where I'm recording these hour-long episodes and cutting them down to 40 minutes or 30 minutes. And I'm curious... I don't know if I'm just like... I don't know if I'm just, like, loving the sound of my own voice <laughs> or, or or they're actually good. Please do let me know. What I actually want to know is, are you finding the time to watch the whole episode or are you watching as much as you used to do? Say, for example, you click on an episode, you watch tw you watch 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're set. You know, you've, you've experienced the day. Are you still doing that? I'm curious. The watch time is really hard to analyze on longer videos. It kind of looks a little bit like people just kind of get their fix and they go, which is fine. I don't mind, uh, but I am interested. I am interested to know. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to guinea pig you. Um, <laughs> leave me a response below if you've got the time. I am curious. I, I enjoy filming them though. They're really good. I don't, I don't know when it was, but it just clicked and I was just like, I can't stop talking now in an episode. I think maybe it's just getting better at it and feeling confident enough to, to talk for a longer period of time. I think before I used to, I don't know, I used to just want to cut away, think of something new to say. It just flows a lot easier now. You know, a little switch clicked in my head. It's the same kind of switch, genuinely. I've spoken about this before. But there was a switch that clicked in my head when I worked on the 1.4 trailer. And once that switch clicked, I've loved Terraria more than I've ever loved it in my entire life. And that's saying something, considering I was already playing it a lot. And ever since that moment, I, I don't really get... I don't know. I don't get fatigue in the same way I used to. You know, I only get fatigue if I if I actually burn myself out on it. You know, like really push the boat out, <laughs> like I did with the summoner stuff. But yeah, once once it clicked, it clicked. Strange, right? But that's what's happening with the longer episodes. But I just need to, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna survey you, and if you like, well, I probably watch about the same. I'm gonna reduce the length a little bit. I don't like these slimes. <laughs> these slimes are my new enemy. Hey, look at that. It's the tavern keep. How you doing, my dude? What a what a strange place to see you. Do you still have a, a little Easter egg? Do you still do you still slap the ale? Come on, buddy. Slap the ale with me. Hey! Hey, Bevies! Bevies with the gang. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Uh the only problem I've got with this valve form though is that unfortunately. Uh, it hasn't got the longest reach. I am going to follow this theory. <laughs> so I don't have a, a cloud in a bottle yet. I, I cut a large chunk out of yesterday's episode, which was just looking for the uh, the cloud in a bottle. Um, so that's interesting. Where did the theory go? Oh no, come on now, theory. That's not fair. Come on now. Come on, We don't. you don't need to play me like that. You don't need to play me like that. I will grab this moon glow. So I got a question for you. How many people do you reckon would flip on a dime 
about the PlayStation 5. If at the launch event they were just like, and coming at launch, drum roll please. Crash Bandicoot, PlayStation 5. We've got a brand new Crash Bandicoot. I know so many people that would freak about that. I love Crash Bandicoot a lot. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> so I know Python only bought his Switch to play Crash Bandicoot on the go. So that's how I know that that would, that would do that to people. Although Python is already... Well, actually, I don't know, to be honest, because Python owns every console going. He has every version of the Xbox One and every version of the PlayStation 5. I'm over here with the jet engine PlayStation 5. So I'm kind of scuffed in that sense. I had an Xbox 360 and I had a PlayStation 3. I, I traded my PlayStation 3 for an Xbox 360. So that's, that should give you context about who I am. Okay, I really want to get this fight going, but I am dawdling a little bit because I fear that what's what's happening here is, is I've not really got... I've got good health, but I feel like I'm so weak defense-wise, but... I think mainly it's because I haven't reforged anything, and I imagine that if I'd spent a little bit of money on reforging, I could have had a, a better opportunity. I am going to give this a go, out of pure curiosity, and we're going to see how it goes. So I'm not convinced the Valforn is the best thing in the world. I mean, who am I kidding, right? Valforn hype! But I am convinced that, I know that if it's going to spawn in bees, the Valforn is the goat. No way! Wow! That's the third piece of cobalt I've had in this series. That is real nice. Hey, that 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 pleases me. That that is real good. That pleases the gods. I I, I like that a lot. Do you think that's jungle torches? Because I think that's jungle torches. Jungle torches coming in big. Okay, Valform not so great for reach. Let's be real. Amber staff great for reach. I think so. So I almost don't want to keep my mini-map. I wish that I'd, uh, I'd shrunk it. Because I don't like that when it goes behind it on the right, I can't really see. But I think, to be honest, you know, in terms of, like, if I'm going to miss that shot, I'm probably going to miss that shot anyway. Yeah, so I think this is where Valforn's going to come in the best. If it has a lot of bees. But I think Amber Staff is going to win out. I think the thing with the Amber Staff is that because it fires automatically, it's real good. So just talking about Crash Bandicoot real quick. Do you all remember that remaster of Crash Bandicoot Racing, Crash Team Racing? That was... Oh, I'm equipping that now. That was such a good game. It really was. So I, I got that on Switch, and I loved it. Once they started adding all the uh, microtransactions, I will admit, I did kind of lose a lot of respect for the game. But at the end of the day, I don't know if... Right, I don't know if I'm going to justify this. I don't know if this is, if this is the, the hill I want to die on. I don't care that much, but if you want to keep the servers running well for a long time, you've got to have, you know, some kind of, some kind of, like, continuous revenue stream, right? Like I say, I don't know if I want to die on that hill. But now thinking about it, I remember distinctly moaning about how bad the servers were for Crash Team Racing on Switch. They were real bad. Like, I didn't have a successful multiplayer match in the first week. So I don't know what I want to say about that now. I think as gamers, um, we're really spoiled with Terraria. Like, when you think about the the potential earnings, you know, Terraria could have had. If it had just sold one of its updates as DLC to a player base of, like, 30 million. Even if the player base was 5 million... They left a lot of money on the table, but what did we get? Amazing updates and Relogic got our love and support. Yeah, we're, we're really blessed to have Relogic. I never knew, obviously, because I've been doing Terraria for many years. Um, for those that don't know, because, you know, there's lots of new people around. Uh, so I've been playing Terraria since day one on YouTube. So um, it was my nine-year anniversary of Terraria videos, the day 1.4 came out, which is pretty crazy. Didn't really talk about it much because, you know, there was, there was bigger things to talk about. But um, I never knew going into it, you know, how lucky I would be long term to have um, tied myself down to, to something so amazing, like to, to such a great game company who have like honestly loved and respected me since the beginning. And that's real nice. I mean, Relogic have always been amazing to me from like making sure that I had news and, and you know, you know, treating me to like a special event or like the occasional t-shirt here and there or... Sending me some, like, custom merch and, oh, legends. Absolutely legends. 
This didn't mean to, to turn into a gushing session about Relogic, but it's weird to think that 1.4 is, uh, is almost a month old. How cool is that? I still don't feel like I've seen any of the new stuff in hard mode. Because I've, I've been to hard mode a couple of times in personal worlds, but I, I find myself just um, just defaulting to, to gear that I already know, mainly because it's what I know. I can't wait until this series gets to, to Queen Bee. I was thinking about it earlier because I was thinking about, like, what are we going to do today? Like, how much pretty hard mode do we have left? Because we have fishing spots, we have a couple of towns, um, and obviously once Skeletron's out of the way, Wall of Flesh takes, you know, takes an hour, right? And I was thinking about it, and usually I don't really get excited for the hard mode portion of the series because I love um, pre-hard mode so much. But I really am excited for uh, for hard mode in this one. For like Queen Bee and Empress of Light and... Oh, there's so much to look forward to. I know they won't, unless they do a small bug patch. It would be cool to have, uh, to have my custom colours in the game um, by the time we do it in the series. I don't know if that'll be a 1.4.1 thing, or it'll be a, like I say, or it'll be a, a small bug patch. I presume small bug patch. I don't know. Have they got any bugs to fix? I haven't really kept an eye on um, on what's been going down. Uh, anything broken. I'm trying to, to keep off the Reddit more and more so that uh, I can record um, meme reviews. Because I'm really enjoying them. They're a, a great excuse to, to get on camera. For those who have never heard me talk about it before, I am... Um, I'm very camera shy. I'm extremely camera shy. I feel awkward. I have to take a day to prepare before I turn on the camera. Um, and they've, they've been very relaxing for me. Well, I've only filmed one, uh, but I've been doing the, the monthly stuff for the, uh, for the channel members. And that's been really helping as well. So to all the channel members that get the exclusive monthly video, uh, thank you. Because you're, you're a big motivation for, uh, for a new chapter for me, I think. I think on-camera appearances is just going to happen more and more. It was part of, um, you know, obviously we rebranded the Chippy Gaming channel to, to look a little bit more like me. I mean, it's not quite like me, but it's a little bit more like me. A big part of that was so when I appeared on camera, people just wouldn't be freaked all the time. And it would be a little bit more natural. <laughs> I look like an old... I don't look like an old man. <laughs> I could see why you would think it there with the old voice. I have got a very old voice. How old do you think I'm going to sound when I'm old? That's what I want to know. Do you reckon my voice will just get deeper and, and raspier? I kind of like that. Maybe I could be a voice actor one day. That'd be nice. So, fun fact. <laughs> this queen bite, this queen bee fight. Just, let's just level real quick, because this is going to be the whole episode. <laughs> it's quite long. I, I assumed that it would be a lot quicker, uh, because of better weapons and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, quite long. Um, so... Let me tell you this. Once upon a time, do you guys remember the Terraria animated show by um, Element Animations? They were kind enough to offer me. This was really sweet. They were like, would you like to, to voice the cloth year in the show? And I was like, yes, please. That sounds amazing. Um, but the problem was I was only... Um, oh, I, th I don't know if I was 15 or 16, but I couldn't afford the train fare. And they didn't live far away from me. I don't think they've got their offices as uh, publicly listed, so I won't say where. But it wasn't far, and I just couldn't afford the train. I was so good, so I missed out on that opportunity. And I always kind of regret it. I'm always kind of gutted by that. I missed out on a few opportunities when I was young because I couldn't really uh, afford them. I was um, offered this opportunity once to, um, to interview uh, the team who made Starbound while they were making Starbound. Which is really cool. Like, what an amazing opportunity to get when you're uh, quite young. Couldn't afford to go. <laughs> but that's fine. That's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I'm going to jump cut because this fight is going on forever. So I didn't really realize, but we are very low on health. Obviously, with the uh, the fight going on forever, we have run out of buffs now. So, so that isn't really helping. Uh, the situation, so I've got to be very careful. I think in the, the next swipe, I'll be dead. So, it's now become the uh, endurance fight that uh, it kind of was in the summoner's run. Kind of not what I wanted, but it is what it is. Hey, checking in. Fight's still going well. It's probably been, I don't know how many minutes it's been. Let me look over. It's probably been about four minutes since you've seen me. Uh, yeah, it's going alright. Thank God. And I didn't think I'd ever say this, but thank God for the bees. 
because I obviously don't have mana regen. Uh, but the bees are, are keeping it going. So what I'm what I'm basically doing is flipping between Amber Staff, a bit of Vileform to, to knock the bees around a little bit. Okay, that was really bad dodging. Nope, <laughs> not again. Whee. Yeah, and then that's working out pretty well for me, I would say. My health has been pretty rocky throughout the whole fight, which is not great. Still kind of moaning about the, the mini-map in my own head. I wish I could just turn it off. <laughs> but I kind of like relying on it to uh, to see where it is. But this has been an interesting fight. It, it's not the way I expected it to go. That's why it's been so interesting, really. Stop dodging poorly. I'm lucky. I oh, no. Oh, no. I was going to say, I'm lucky I'm still alive. Because that was really... That was really weak. Let's be real. I don't know if I deserve to be alive on that one. If I did, if I die here though, I will not be. Oh, <laughs> did you really have to kill me, Queen Bee? Right there and then. Wow, that was uh... <laughs> that was garbage. Oh, I did that so poorly. I was so convinced as well. I was so convinced in the Valfon. I really believed in you. What is that? What a money a kite. Okay. Hey, that's cool. Let's generate some wind boys. I mean gang. <laughs> okay, okay. This is really cool. I like this. Even though we didn't win, I still feel like a winner. I feel like a winner with that. That Bezor was a good pickup. I think probably the only reason we survived so long is because we had the Bezor. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. All right, well, uh, failed episode. What can you say? Yeah, I, th I think I'll end it there for today, guys. That was good fun, though. I, I had a lot of fun. We got to, to speak about some, some fun stuff. You got some questions to ponder about the episode length and about Crash Bandicoot. Where do you where do you land? Have you been sold on the PlayStation 5? Or are you Xbox gang for life? So, that's going to do it for today's episode. Nice hanging out with you all. Hope you've all been well. Shout out, as always to our amazing uh, channel members. I haven't spoken about this for a couple of days, but if you do want to join the list at the very end of the video, uh, we have memberships on Chippy's Couch, and you get some great benefits. I'm going to go over them real quick. Uh, couch Enthusiast, you get your name in the credits, which is pretty cool, and you get all the benefits of the one before. And Washing Machine Repairman, which is a little pricey. It's a little pricey. It's a big commitment. Uh, you get a monthly video, which is uh, interesting. This month it was a tour of my office, which I've never shown, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then if you have tier one, you get a badge and you get membership posts and you get discount on merch. So if you want to buy small chippy, uh, become a member, get the discount. And I think it works out that it's about the same price. So if you're thinking about the merch, get a membership, get the discount. You get a membership and you get the shirt. So it's it's win-win, right? Okay, right. See you in the next one, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Bye.